morning guys it's uh tuesday morning here at over the moon farmstead in uh new hampshire and geez what a property it's just beautiful i mean just from our camp there was you know i could have done five or six paintings right there just there's like two old barns like a view to the left, to the right, everywhere, then the sunset. Um, it's really great. I'm out here taking Ramsey for a walk. Come on, buddy. And um, just what an awesome experience, you know. I, and these are the things I was really way more excited for than the national parks. You know, Yellowstone is going to be awesome. Um, you know glacier obviously everything in utah all over the country it's awesome but this is just like wide open like this 90 acres of just hey yeah there's the path you know just stay away from the apiary done you know i don't want to get stung and um you can pretty much go wherever you want so uh we're walking on this path right now there's like us and two other campers. Uh, this is through Harvest House, and it's just a one night thing, but it's it's such a concentrated experience that it's just great. We had some meat last night. I don't like meat, I find out. It's a little too sweet, um, but the flavors I can definitely appreciate. So uh, yeah, shout out to Harvest House. Over the Moon Farmstead, New Hampshire. Um, working hard, living your dream, and, and just doing it, man. Because this is just the tip of the iceberg. And we have a lot more of these lined up. And, I mean, once the fall comes, forget it. Like, this is going to be it. Look at this kid. Ramsey, come on. Yeah, he's a little pony. He's a show pony. So yeah, this is just great. I can't say enough. You know, even if you just have a tent, whatever you have to get started, I would just say freaking do it. You won't regret it. And I feel like we got bit by the camping bug already. Um, just because we're slowly finding our groove. We didn't know jack about motorhomes. I mean, I found out how to turn on the fridge like a day before we left or two days. And, um, you know, as long as, you, as long as you're not going to get stranded anywhere, you know, I'm not saying buy something from the 40s, but, you know, ours is a 2014 with now 15,500 miles or so. You know, if worst case happens, you just get a hotel or... You know, you order takeout for a night, roll into an RV repair shop, and they'll fix you up. Or if you have a, a tent, you know, a cooler and a little grill, and you're good, man. It's funny how little time we actually spend needing to do stuff other than, like, the necessities but man, like we got here and, uh, Ramsey, come on. I'm coming. Where's he at? There he is. And, um, we, we got here, we tried the mead. I set up painting, talked to a couple people, just kicked up the feet, man, and watched the sunset. Simple things, man. I couldn't even think about TV. Or uh, the fact that I do my my want my laundry in a five gallon bucket with a plunger, like just could care less. And um, I find that to be very uh, settling, you know. I I normally am like my mind is always being stretched in a million directions. And I can never do anything that good. Uh, maybe I'm not good at focusing either, but I don't know. It's uh, 
there's something to be said about less, you know, which is kind of my whole, you know, what I'm discovering more about my mission as a painter and as a person and the, the mission I'm trying to spread. All right, we're going to turn around. Ramsey, come on. Let's go. So, I mean, yeah, if, if you're feeling really overwhelmed and, like, you can't focus on anything and, uh, sorry, my arm's hurting. And maybe you just need a break. You need to refresh and re, you know, calibrate or whatever. Try camping, man. It's the simplest things, but it's all you want, all you need. All right, guys, next stop, still in New Hampshire. Uh, there's a campsite, Silver Lake Campground, about 20 minutes from here. And um, we're there for three days, three nights to get our automatic jacks fixed. So we just press a button and the camp is level and then we can use the slide out, which is basically doubles our interior space. Um, like square feet wise. So we'll be there. I'm gonna try and get a, uh, a picture of this, a painting of this uh, sunrise with all the fog uh, before that melts off. Then it's, uh, you know, we don't check in until one, so then I'll just probably work on some other paintings. I wanna do a video of uh, of like things I do to my paintings because I'm basically doing them in one shot, right? Whether it's 30 minutes or two hours, they're right there on the spot. You know, they're not rehearsed. They're very improvised and very uh, in the moment, which keeps, it's awesome because it keeps it fresh. You know, you can stand there and think, well, I could paint this, that. Yeah, I know how to paint a million trees. But like, as far as the arrangement goes, nature is just gonna slap you in the face when you're there. So I wanna do something that, like once I take it back into, take it home to the RV, you know, let it sit for a day and then maybe spending 10 or 20 minutes on it, just, um, you know, really pushing and pulling things that, just minor little adjustments to really dial it in. So yeah, I'll probably make a video on that. And um, other than that, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, I'm trying to finish up my blog post soon. Um, hopefully I get to that today. Um, if not, I'll definitely be checking in soon. Everybody have a blessed day. Be safe, work hard. Talk to you guys later.